A big milestone for India's moon mission. The Chandrayaan 3's lander Vikram has successfully separated from the spacecraft. The lander and rover Pragyan are now expected to land on the moon on the 23rd of August. Uh, Pallav Bagla joining us for more details on this. And Pallav, it's a major, major milestone for India's moon mission. T moon mission. Tell us what really has happened, what this means for Chandrayaan 3 and what's the journey that's looking like ahead. Well, the journey so far for Chandrayaan 3 has been exactly as it has been planned by the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, today, in a milestone move, the conjoined triplets of the Chandrayaan 3 propulsion module, the Vikram lander with the Pragyan rover, have separated and now both are orbiting in a orbit around the moon. Tomorrow, the Vikram lander will be, the velocity would be reduced and it would be brought down closer to the surface of the moon. And then finally, on 23rd of August, uh, a soft landing will be attempted near the south pole of the moon. And that would be a big day for India because that would also be the time when we would see the first selfies coming from the lunar surface from an Indian robotic mission which would have successfully soft landed on the moon. So it is an important milestone. Uh, incrementally, India is inching closer to a soft landing on the moon. Now we are literally one or two steps away from that uh, very big celestial soft landing. And that was uh, something which the Indian Space Research Organization has been preparing for, for years. Hmm. Right, and uh, Mr. Vagla, as you mentioned that till now the journey has been exactly as it was planned for Chandrayaan 3, but uh, now the moon lander has separated. 23rd August is the date when it will land on the moon. So tell us what the next six days will look like. In just about six days, on 23rd August, the moon landing is expected. Tell us what we can expect from here on to the August 23rd. Well, we should expect some nice images coming out from the Vikram lander as it is taking images of the lunar surface. We should get those. And the scientists and engineers at the Indian Space Research Organization would be working hard to get their mathematical calculations right so that the, the uh, Vikram lander, as it goes in for its landing, comes out correctly. Uh, remember, last time around in 2019, it was the Vikram lander which crash landed because during the, the after the uh, breaking phase, there was a failure in the algorithm and that's where it crash landed. So this time ISRO has learned lessons from the past, done hundreds of simulations, done large number of tests on earth and the scientists at ISRO uh, give me a, an show a lot of confidence that this time Vikram will be able to soft land on the lunar surface. And if that happens, India could become the fourth or the fifth country. And why do I say fourth or fifth? Because right now, there is another spacecraft from Russia called Luna 25, which is in the lunar orbit. And Russia is attempting to soft land uh, near the south pole of the moon. And they are trying to do it between August 21st and 23rd. So if Russia uh, gets down and has a correct soft landing, they would become the fourth country and India would become the fifth. But then Russia and India are old friends. And as I have said earlier, uh, this is not a race because one is a guru and the other is a chela. Mm -hmm. And India has learned so much from Russia. Mm -hmm. So both are in a way really waltzing around the moon and having a certain jubilmandi to make sure that India, Russia, and the world get the best science and understand the lunar surface a lot more and a lot better in times to come. Because sooner than later, uh, there would be permanent habitation on the moon. And America, China, Russia, India, others are already planning for that.